Oh. We're starting day one of seven of my incredible golf journey. Oh. They tell me golf's really addictive. I've got an addictive personality. I love golf. Having ADD, you know, I make videos, I'm DJ producer. In all of that, I'm still a full-time ladies man. Let's see if maybe golf is added to the list. Um, I'm going to pick up some gear from the gift shop, apparently. Golf shop. Um, oh, golf shop, sorry. It's gonna be me by the end of the week. The goat. Hi, what's your cheapest golf club here? Um... Being addicted to something is being strongly invested in it, both mentally and physically. What are some good golf stretches? Oh. I haven't done any exercise for a while, put on like 10 kilos in winter. Whether it's the struggle of trying to achieve something or... I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Can someone Google how to hold the club? Oh, crap. I was playing a little bit of golf in the pandemic, like nothing serious, uh, just to get outside and have some fun. A lot of my friends that I would hang out with on the weekends were getting into relationships and stuff. Not bad. How far? Uh, like two kilometers. You know, you've got to find something to, you know, let the time pass. Look at this fucking thing. It's like a damn ball vacuum. Missed him by a whisker. I'm um, usually good at everything first go, so it's a bit weird, but whatever. Uh, looks like I'm going to need a phone in a friend. Aussie beef golf. Yeah, how you going? I found you in the yellow pages, mate. Um, I just need some help down at the golf course. Are you free tomorrow or...? Oh, yeah, sweet. All right, see you then. Aussie beef golf. That's it, man. JC, how are, you? how are you, man? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. How did day one go? Uh, day one was average. Okay, all right. Hopefully I can help in some way. Absolutely. All right, let's rock and let's roll. Let's go hit some balls. Let's do it. Fellas, do you want your balls washed for $10? Grab your seven iron. Seven Start nine. there. All right, man, what are we aiming for? I'm aiming for that red flag down there. Straight to the flag, all right, good luck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have your job by tomorrow. <laughs> all right, we'll see, man. Okay, so notice you didn't hit the turf there. Do you like the club's too short, do you reckon? That is a little bit short now you yeah. mention that. You look at the difference there, that's actually a ladies club. Hi, what's your chiefest golf club? So do you feel there's like a stigma around young people playing? Yeah, definitely. I think it's changing though, for sure. It doesn't have to be the old guard joining a private golf course. You can just get into the game and uh, see it for what it actually is. Oh, look at that. Went straight. How long did it take for you to get addicted? Mate, nearly instantly. That dopamine hit you get from golf, it's such a hard task. Oh, daddy. I don't know if you've had that perfect golf shot yet, but it is very addictive. Belly button to target, you know what a flamingo is? They stand on one leg, hold your balance. Mm -hmm. That's where you want to finish, okay? Look at that, hold that finish. Stunning. That's the feeling right there. Amazing. Lovely shot. My guy, my guy. Oh, beautiful out here, it's beautiful. Had a great sesh yesterday with Aussie Beef. It's given me some new equipment, some weapons of mass destruction. Test out the new steel. I think I was under the impression before I gave golf a try that it was for grumpy old farts. But classic boomers gatekeeping um, something for the younger generation, you know. Creamed it, that was beautiful. I am converting to goat status on the golf course. Bad day to be a little white bowl, isn't it? You know, Aussie Beef tried to tell me that golf's difficult. I think he is delusional. It's a walk in the park, literally. This is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Woo! Sucks. Everything's going wrong today. Sun is shining, my swing is not. You have that feeling of chasing the dragon. You're trying to get better at something, you're trying to beat the game, but you're never really beating the game because like, you could have a great game one day, but then the next is gonna be average, you know? There's clearly something wrong with the grass. Greenskeeper's been slacking. Mate, the one thing you're guaranteed of when you go play golf is there's gonna be failure. There's no way of mastering the game you will feel emotion. You will feel something when you go out on the golf course and it will beat you down. Oh, 
Um, yeah, not a good day today on the course. Consistency, not there at all. Um, yeah, gonna go drown my sorrows at the pub. You know what a flamingo is? Um, usually good at everything first go. That's actually a ladies club. Kind of cool. After all that failure, there'll be that one moment of clarity, that one perfect golf shot, and uh, that's all it'll take to bring you back. The king's back, baby. The king is back. I really had a good day today. Uh, there's been some ups and downs this week. Definitely has made me realise the mental aspect of it. Kind of disassociating with your issues and the digital world was um, beneficial, yeah. It's a really tough sport, so when you do conquer it, it's a really, really good feeling. Yeah, final day tomorrow, meeting up with Ollie on the course. Call me the abattoir, because I'm coming for the beef. All right, what's the line on this one, Chief? I like it, it's quick, it's all pace, but I like right edge. Just commit to it, read it, roll it, hold it, you got this, all right? All right. Yes! The goat! Woo! Mate, so uh, your seven days is up. What's the verdict? Pretty difficult. It was um, seven days of ups and downs, but not gonna lie, I'm pretty hooked. Cheers to that, my man. Cheers.